Unlike in previous versions of Google Analytics, GA4 offers more built-in event tracking capabilities that are called enhanced measurement. And in this video, we will take a look at it. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. Enhanced measurement is a feature set introduced in Google Analytics 4. The main goal here is to allow marketers to get some additional data in the reports without the need of relying on developers or Google Tag Manager. Enhanced measurement tracks the most common interactions, such as scrolling, outbound link clicks, document link clicks, website search, and more. Let's take a closer look. If you log in to your Google Analytics 4 property and you go to the admin, you should then click data streams in the property column and select the data stream of the website that is sending data to your property. So click it and here you will see a section called enhanced measurement. So enhanced measurement basically is responsible for some of the additional automatic event tracking capabilities. There are several events that can be tracked automatically for you. So this means that you don't have to do that manually with Google Tag Manager or ask a developer to implement that for you. First, to make sure that enhanced measurement is enabled in your data stream, you should check this toggle right here. It should be blue if it is enabled. And then you can configure the actual events right here by clicking this gear icon. So click it. And right here, you can see that the page views cannot be disabled. So for example, if you don't want to track scroll events, you can disable them right here. And also some of the events have some additional configuration right here. For example, on the page views, you can click show advanced option and then you can choose whether you want to track when browser history events fire or not. Browser history events usually apply for single page websites or single page applications. And they happen when the URL of the page changes while the actual page did not reload. So this means that maybe a visitor was moved to a certain part of the website or maybe some content was loaded dynamically. The most important thing here is that there was a URL change even though the page did not reload. But if you don't want to track these events, you can disable them by clicking this checkbox. Then speaking of scroll events, this event fires when a visitor reaches the 90% threshold of your page. Then we have outbound links. So outbound links basically are links that are clicked on your website and they redirect your visitor to another domain. If your business operates on several domains and you don't want to treat those domains as external resources or outbound links, you can close the enhanced measurement right here. Then scroll down to the tagging settings section, click it, and then click configure your domains. In this list, you should enter domains that belong to your business, and those domains will not be counted as outbound link clicks. Also, this page is related to the cross-domain configuration, but let's keep that topic for another video. All right, so let's go back to the enhanced measurement. I will then once again click this gear icon right here. Then we have site search. If a visitor performs a site search on your website, and during that search, the URL of the website contains a certain query parameter and that query parameter contains the search query, I mean, the actual search keyword that your visitor is using, then that can be tracked as a search event and that event can be sent to your Google Analytics property. However, websites are different and their search functionalities are different. So the query parameter on one website might look like this. Here you can see that the search query is GTM and the query parameter is just one letter, which is S. On some websites, that query might be a letter Q or maybe the word search or query or something else. So if you want to configure that query parameter and specifically instruct Google Analytics to keep looking for that particular parameter in the URL, you should click show advanced settings right here. And then you should enter all the possible query parameters that are related to the search query on your website. So in my case, the query parameter S would have done the job and you should separate each parameter with a comma. Then we also have video engagement, but that video engagement is only for embedded YouTube video players. And also those YouTube videos should have the JavaScript API enabled in the source code. And unfortunately that doesn't always happen. And since there are very 
many nuances related to YouTube video tracking on your website, this video engagement event will not cover all the situations. So in many cases, you still might need to work with Google Tag Manager. And last but not least, we also have file downloads. If a visitor clicks a link and that link is related to a certain file, then Enhanced Measurement will send an event about that clicked link uh, to Google Analytics. Here are the file formats that are currently supported by the file download feature in Enhanced Measurement. I don't know, maybe in the future this list will be extended, but right now these file extensions are automatically tracked. So if you are interested in tracking some additional file extensions, then you will need to manually configure that with Google Tag Manager. So when you select which events do you want to track and you click Save, make sure once again that this toggle is enabled. And once you do that, Google Analytics 4 will start automatically tracking these events. They will be sent to your property. There is no need to publish anything in Google Tag Manager or do something else. They will be tracked automatically once you hit that save button and then once you enable this toggle. So once you enable the enhanced measurement in your property, you probably want to check whether the data is actually coming in. So you can go right here in the bottom left corner of the GA4 interface, you will see the debug view. But if you want to start seeing some data right here, you need to enable the debug mode of Google Analytics. And there are several options how you can do that. If you're working with Google Tag Manager, and I hope you do because you watch my video, then the easiest way to do that is just to have the preview mode enabled in Google Tag Manager. What happens is that when you have enabled the preview mode in GTM, it automatically adds an additional parameter, which is called debug mode, to every hit that is sent to Google Analytics 4. And then as a result, you will start seeing Google Analytics 4 events in the debug view. And also there are several other options how you can enable the debug mode in Google Analytics. What you need to know right now is that debug mode in Google Analytics is different from the preview mode in Google Tag Manager. So if you want to learn the difference and if you want to learn other options, how you can enable the debug mode in Google Analytics 4, take a look at that very same event tracking blog post that you will find in the description of this video. And that was an introduction to enhanced measurement in GA4. It's a nice set of auto tracking features that saves us time and we can focus more on other events that do require customization in the code or Google Tag Manager. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.